How do you handle fame? I handle fame by not being famous. Come on, you know you're a famous man. No, I mean, you know, not to me. No? Not famous to me. Hmm. <laughs> Some people get drunk off of fame. See, I learned, I learned from, from <coughs> he was coming in, from I just started music. You know, the people them want me. Them show me say, hey, this game is a game where if you don't mind sharp, you lose your consciousness. So the only way you can lose your consciousness is because if you figure say you're, you're getting some people say rare, you might your head might get swell. Right. And if your head swell, that's it. So you know. But really I don't keep my head in a bandage that it can't swell. <laughs> <laughs> True. How do you handle the women that come at you in droves? I, people have visions of women beating down the door to get at Bob Jesus. Marley and grabbing the clothes. <laughs> Is it like that? No. No? No. Woman is, you know. Is it difficult, though, to keep your balance and not, you know, get to feeling that you're more important than you really are when so many people are after you all the time for different things? No, you see, I don't think, I, I never really check myself, you know, I really, I know I am benefit to the people, you know, that's the only consciousness I have on myself, that I can be beneficial to a people, you know, and when I really, you know, know anything else. I don't know that. What do you think it is that has made Bob Marley such a big name? I think, you know, maybe it's just what Bob Marley stands for. What is that? The truth. And the determination to stay alive and survive. You know? You have a record out called Survival. Yeah. That was last year. Yeah. Was anything, did anything happen to you that caused you to write that? Well, 1976, I'm shoot off from the right. Yes. And I figured that was survival, you know. Yeah. What happened when you were shot? You were in your home. Yeah. Was it in the morning or at night or what happened? Well, it was about, um, well, that's about 9 o'clock in the night. Yeah. What happened is that um, the night before, about three nights before that, I, I was living at a place called Bull B, you know? Mm. And I went home about three o'clock in the morning and get, a, and get some sleep. And then I vision I was in a lot of gunshot, you know? That was, that was a, a dream. I was in a, a, a barrage, a gunshot, and... But when, when, when it all over, you know, it's like I never really get a shot. But I see my mother get shot. You know, the vision show my mother get shot in her head. And what happened is that the vision said, don't run. You know, it's like, do you know that this gunshot is like something that the vision said, don't run, stand up. So when the gunshot started firing a hope road, the first thing come back to my mind was the vision. And all I could remember is that the vision said, don't run. And so me have to stand up, you know. And, you know, them fire fire until was tired of fire and then two is, is, is not really a laughable well, gun battle. Man starts running and it ease up, you know. And that Where was, were you hit? Eh? Where were you hit? Me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Went right through? Or just skin No, I said large inside there. Eh? Yeah? Yeah. You never saw the gunman? Well, at that time, no. But you know who did it? Yeah, I know them. Were they caught? No, but I don't caught the police. Mm. It's just, you know, what I'm saying. You have a record company now? Yeah. Why? Oh, you know, a long time we always have a record company. What we have now is a record in studio. When we go into the studio to work, it was a lot of hassle. I mean, we're a raster, you know? 
some people don't want to rust in them studio. No, if you stop all of this, you have to make one. Because, you know what I mean? A man might say, don't you say, I'll sell us your God. Well, you know what I mean? Go and build your own studio. You know what I mean? So, all right, I'll sell us this God, and we'll go and build a studio, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I just said, go. It just, it, them things come through sabotage and through pressure. If everything was nice, maybe we wouldn't have to build a studio. But, you know, it, it's just a tricky place. It's not everyone really have that humanitarian feeling. Some people just are deal with them do even know what I'm dealing with. Mm. What's ahead for Bob Marley, do you know? Do you have an agenda or a master plan? Well, I feel ahead for you and I is the unity of Africa. And then when the unity of Africa come, then people will really understand, say, you know, there was something in this thing. Ah, there was something in it. Do you think of yourself more as an African than a Jamaican? Yeah. Because one of the main things is that we're Rasta. From you accept Rasta, you become a Ethiopian, which is Africa. Next thing again, the history of Jamaica shows that the Arawak Indian was living there and it belonged to the Arawak Indian. Now, our history show that through slave business, black people come out of the West and thing, you know? So we still figure, say, Africa is a route, you know? And this is where we must return to. What do you see as most of uh, Africa's problems as far as uniting, I mean? I see Africa problem is that outside people keep on fatiguing the people, you know, and make them can't really get them things together, you know. If it's not this superpower, it's that superpower. But Africa is only a place which part of music exploit, you know. Nobody not really. Africa, Africa so rich that it, it become a man who's going to Africa, steal out of him and steal and carry back in a free country. And Africa stay there like, you know, go Africa ready. Af uh, Garvey used to say Africa for the Africans. Is that how you feel? Yeah, Africa for Africans, a woman abroad, you know. True. <laughs> will, your, will your home base, though, always be Jamaica? Or someday do you, would, no, would you like to live in Africa? No, someday going to be in Africa. Yeah. Maybe we open a Jerusalem. You know what I mean? Not them Bible land. And what do you think lies ahead for Jamaica? I think what lies ahead for Jamaica is that Jamaica is a beautiful island. The best thing Jamaica could have been is just like how Jamaica, like how England owned Jamaica. Jamaica must make some part of Africa own Jamaica. You know what I mean? And it worked more nicer. I mean, you know. But if, if it's going to be a thing which by you have a is going to have a war. Because the only solution is either them get themselves with Nigeria or uh, with someone, you know what I mean? But make Jamaica become some African, something to do with Africa, that Africa who in Jamaica, you know? But because of people and them Wolipa uh, uh, ideology and philosophy where they want to come with, you know? Some people want to be Marxist, some want to be this, some want to be that. And nobody would own, and plenty of people don't want to be with them is. And where them is is Africa and, and Africa have its own culture and its own people. And you know, all it needs is people who keep it down for you to die out of the earth or something. What is your uh, feeling about the condition of black people here in the United States? I feel like the black people shall develop themselves, you know, not, in a, not, not to several then this developing up itself have any prejudice thing to it. It's just that we are people with our own history and culture, we can educate ourselves. I mean, we are the first creators, so we have to really, everything we see on this earth here, yeah, the black man make it. And, I, and I'm saying that the white man don't make some but all wisdom come from the black man. You know, a lot of young viewers look up to you and are gonna wanna hang on every word and every syllable. Do you have a message for young people? Well, you know, 
The whole thing again is to really check out the truth of Rasta and don't make like fallism. Don't make you check it out. And don't get too busy that you can't check out the truth. Because the truth is there. And Africa awaits its creators. And we know that the people in the West, Edwise, it's them ready, you know? It's them have to learn, come learn. What I'm learning in the West, they have to carry it home to them people, make it be a benefit to the people. Because, I mean, how long must the black people suffer? And these are people. You know? And then we have our own culture. We have everything. We don't shout at anything. We have everything. Plus, we have a land that no one is living there. And we must go home to it. And when you go home, you can build all of these big buildings if you want. I mean, if you miss a city, build a city. You know what I mean? If you want a car, you can get a car. I mean, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the big thing. One time, America was, was you know what I mean? Maybe used to have, that's a whole, long, whole, whole, what I call it, all sort of thing I walk through. Africa is a peaceful place. Then we want to fool black people, but it's a jungle and blah, blah, mm -hmm. boom, boom. Where have you been in Africa besides Ethiopia? Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Gabon. How did Zimbabwe strike you? Well, you know, Zimbabwe nice, man. Zimbabwe is really nice. I mean, you know, it's like a paradise in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place. You know, when you go in and see it, beautiful. How did the people react to you? People is great. Yeah, people good. You know, them places, when you go and you see how the people, in, how the land set up, you see people living. You see a man having most on a nice pizza. And then the whole thing about it, the climate, you can go out all the while. <laughs> You know, <laughs> the climate nice outside. Yeah. If you want to look upon a few lions and things, you can walk and go. And if you want to see some things that man never make, but it look like somebody make it. That's all Zimbabwe too. Because I go in a place and I see some stone farm. But I know it's not the man make it, but the weed farm, you know, is, is higher than higher than something. It's really been a pleasant and informative experience talking to you, Brother Molly. Nice. I thank you for your time. I agree. Wish you well. Pasta.